All right, everybody, I'm Logan Alec. I'm a CPA. My firm and I help people who owe the IRS and or their state back taxes. If you owe more than $10,000 in taxes and you'd like a free consultation, go ahead and call 844-321-TAXES. That's 844-321-8293 or email taxrelief at loganalec.com to schedule a free consultation about your back tax situation. But today I'm talking about three last minute tax filing tips for all you tax procrastinators out there. And there's no shame in that. I haven't filed my own tax return yet either. No shame, people. Uh, so today I'm going to give those of you who, like me, haven't filed your return yet three tips. Number one, file an extension if you don't trust yourself. Now, even though I'm a CPA, I don't even trust myself to file my taxes on time. I have clients to take care of. That's why I file an extension to extend my tax return deadline to October 15th, uh, to October 17th this year, because October 15th is on a Saturday. Uh, filing an extension only takes a few minutes. You can do it right in your tax software, and it saves me the risk of not filing my return by the deadline and incurring possibly significant failure to file penalties. If you haven't filed your return yet, I'd recommend the same just as a precaution. I mean, let's face it, right? Uh, it's about a week before the deadline and you still haven't filed. I think that kind of establishes that you're something of a tax procrastinator and as a fellow tax procrastinator, at least with my own tax return, right? My clients come first. I make it a point to file an extension as early as I can after my tax software is released. So consider dropping what you're doing right now after watching this video, of course, and use TurboTax or some other tax software to file your extension for free. I'll probably do a tutorial uh, on the tax deadline or closer to the tax deadline on how to do a tax extension in TurboTax. Tip number two, don't bury your head in the sand just because you have a surprise tax bill. All too often, I see this situation with last minute tax filers. Uh, they wait until, you know, the second week of April to start their tax return. And by the time they finished it and are ready to file, they have a large surprise tax bill on their return. And unfortunately, what a lot of these folks do is simply not file because they don't have the money to pay the taxes right now. And so they bury their heads in the sand. No, do not do that. Go ahead and file your return if you've got it ready to go or at least file an extension like I just talked about. An extension of course only extends the due date for your return, not your deadline to pay. If you don't file your tax return or if you don't extend your tax return and file timely by the extended tax deadline and you just try to ignore the situation, you will face large failure to file penalties. The rate for this penalty is a whopping 5% of your unpaid balance per month or part of the month that you fail to file your return. So let's say you prepare uh, your return this week and you see you owe the IRS $2,000, let's say. If you bury your head in the sand and don't file your return, or at least an extension, you just try to ignore the situation, a failure to file penalty will accrue on your account in the amount of 5% of your unpaid balance per month or part of a month that you have not filed. In this case, that's like $100 per month. However, if you file your return or an extension, you are not subject to this penalty. You are only subject to the failure to pay penalty, which accrues at one-tenth that rate. It accrues at a rate of 0.5% per month or part of a month um, that you um, uh, don't pay your taxes in. So that'd be only like $10 a month in this situation. Oh, and if you don't file your return or extend it, both the failure to pay penalty and the failure to uh, file penalties will accrue concurrently. Tip number three, take some last minute tax deductions. If you're running up against a large tax bill, consider taking some last minute tax deductions by April 18th to reduce your balance or even score yourself a refund. Probably the most common last minute tax deduction for everyday people is a deduction for contributing to a traditional IRA. You can make your 2021 deduction to a traditional IRA all the way up to the unextended tax return deadline, which in this case is April 18th. Uh, while the 2021 contribution limit to uh, traditional IRAs is $6,000, $7,000 for taxpayers age 50 or older, taxpayers receive a tax deduction for every dollar they contribute, assuming they are in fact eligible for the deduction. So if you're in, say, the 22% marginal tax bracket, a $6,000 contribution to your traditional IRA uh, could save you about $1,320 in federal income taxes, and this doesn't even include savings on your state income tax return. You have to keep in mind, of course, the eligibility requirements for deducting your traditional IRA contributions. If you or your spouse is covered by a retirement plan at work, even if they don't participate in it, your eligibility to deduct your traditional IRA contributions may be limited or eliminated altogether. Consult a tax professional if you're not sure. Also keep in mind that in the long run, contributing to a Roth IRA this year may make more sense than making a traditional IRA contribution, even though uh, a Roth contribution won't benefit you on this year's tax return. If you're not sure what to do in that arena, 
consult a qualified financial advisor. Another common last minute tax deduction is uh, for HSAs, health savings accounts. Um, of course, you only qualify to make HSA contributions if you were covered by a qualifying high deductible health plan last year. If you're not sure if your plan qualifies, check with your employer's employee benefits department or if you're self-employed, uh, check with your plan administrator. HSAs are particularly cool because not only can you deduct contributions you make to them, but the earnings also grow tax-free and they can be uh, withdrawn tax and penalty-free if you use them to pay for qualified medical expenses, including uh, accrued medical expenses you've saved receipts for over the years. And once you turn age 65, you can tap into your HSA for even non-medical expenses that you would pay tax on those distributions, similar to traditional IRA distributions on the amount taken out for non-medical expenses. All right, folks, those are my three last minute tax filing tips um, for all you tax procrastinators out there. Uh, I have some other tax videos along the side of the screen here. One is for those of you who haven't filed your tax returns uh, in a few years or possibly more than a few years. There are some specific strategies you should know about. And there's another tax video right down here uh, in the bottom left corner, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.